This is John from Waukegan, Illinois, near Chicago. Today I'm going to talk about FPV. Um, I wanted to get into FPV, but I didn't want to spend a lot of money, so I ended up uh, getting a system for about $100. The um, system seems to work good, and it consists of three items. You need a camera, which I have here. These are about $16. This is a um, quarter-inch CMOS, high-definition color, it says. And it's 600 uh, TVL, and it has a 120 degree lens, it claims. Uh, the next thing you'll need is a transmitter to send that signal back to your monitor where you're standing. And I have a Boss Cam uh, 5.8G. Uh, it's model uh, TS351. It's probably the most popular one out there. It's only 200 milliamps, so it doesn't have a lot of power. But if you double the power, say if you go to a 400, you only get probably another 20% range, if that. So the smaller power is fine. If you need more range, you get rid of the um, whip antenna and go with a cloverleaf antenna. That will do more to increase your range than anything else. Plus the range, from what I understand, is about 1,000 meters, which is at or above the range of your remote control radios, your radio transmitters for your quads. Uh, so you have your camera, you have your transmitter, and then you have your monitor with a receiver in it. I got uh, this one here, it was about uh, um, $70, and it contains the, trans or the receiver. It has eight channels, and it seems to work pretty good. Um, it has the battery in it too, and I just made a little mount to connect to the uh, radio transmitter. So in summary, we have a camera for about uh, $16, a transmitter for about $16, and I think it was $68 for the uh, combination monitor receiver. Uh, so for under $100, bucks, you could be up and flying. Um, these could vary. You could spend easily four or five hundred dollars. I'm thinking I'll probably go with goggles in the future, which would add a couple hundred dollars. Uh, so I just wanted to start small and see what it's all about and see what it's doing. I did want to run a little test here to see if the camera, they claim 120 degrees. I um, took my protractor and drew out some lines to see what I get here. When I actually put this down, I don't really get 120 degrees. 120 degrees would be this last line over 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 here um, and I'm I'm not even getting to 90 degrees the inside line is 90 degrees I have to back up say an inch behind where they all intersect before I start to get that so I'm probably only getting about a 70 degrees I'm hoping or maybe 80 degrees I'm hoping that that uh, wide angle, that little bit of wide angle will be enough to fly. It's nice to have something over 100 degrees so you can see what's around you better and gives you a better idea on your speed and things like that. Um, so I'm hoping I don't have to buy another camera or another lens, but if I do, you know, they're only $16. It's just that this one seems to be mislabeled. Uh, with that, I think, um, oh, I'll just show you maybe how I ways to mount this. I'm going to put some Velcro tape on, and you can just kind of put this on the side here, the quad, and then the camera, I put a little bit of Velcro tape on that, and you can just put that on there like that, and, and you can plug it into your battery, but I have a battery on the outside, and again, you can see on the monitor there that uh, seems to be working pretty good. Uh, there's not much latency. You could, as you move things, you're actually seeing things in real time. There's not like a partial second delay on these little cameras. They're right on time, so should work good. With that, let me take it outside and give it a spin. See what it looks like. Thanks. On the monitor. Yep. We do, and we let's do. see, we started at about 10.58. So we'll see how long the GPS, I put some copper tape on the dome of the GPS and it normally starts within about a minute. There we go. We could fly now. We have satellite uh, lock. Yay. Go ahead and start it up. Oh wow, the monitor.
monitor works. Sender out there. Come back. Sender up. Uh oh. what this screen looks like here. Yeah, please take that. I'm gonna shoot the screen or it just looks blank. It looks blank. Okay, it's not blank. It's working pretty good. A little bit of shaking. Not bad. 